Well, Election Day is a month away, and tonight Lakeland PBS continued its tradition of providing you with a look at your state legislative debates. Our two debates this year, or tonight, are being done, all our debates this year, in fact, are being done using the Zoom platform with candidates participating remotely. We kick things off tonight in House District 2B, where Republican incumbent Steve Green faced DFL candidate David Subi. Tonight's debate covered many topics, including the governor's emergency orders and response to the pandemic. I do think Governor Waltz paid uh, attention to bo both the state and federal epidemiologists, and he was quick to act. Uh, he had daily news conferences that, uh, with experts from you know a bunch of different agencies. I thought he did a good job explaining what he was doing and why. Uh, he had to make difficult decisions. You know, facts led him to issue stay-at-home orders. I heard a news story from uh, out of New York where the governor there was continuing to allow COVID-positive patients to be transferred back into assisted living and long-term care. And I said, that can't be happening here. But when we checked, that was happening here. And a lot of the deaths that we've seen have come from senior citizens in these long-term care facilities. And so we have to maybe look into why those numbers were as high as they are. Our second debate tonight was for the two candidates seeking to win the Senate District 2 seat. Republican incumbent Paul Utke faced DFL candidate Leonard Allen Roy. And they discussed many topics tonight, including the Senate's recent votes to not confirm two cabinet members, Department of Labor and Industry Commissioner Nancy Lepink, and then later Commerce Commissioner Steve Kelly. Governor Wall said it was a response to him not giving up his emergency powers. Senate leaders said it was in the works since before the pandemic. Do I think it's right that we're removing people um, because of the emergency powers? I don't know if that's the right answer, but what I also don't know what is the right answer is if the governor is not consulting with the legislature. We need to be talking, all right? Effective leadership is one where an executive or a senator or anyone else for that matter sits down at the table, we talk through our problems, we come up with a solution. There are millions of lives at stake. Now is not the time to, to be playing partisan politics. We based it strictly on job performance. Uh, people will talk a lot about politics and the fact that we're against these uh, emergency orders and the peacetime emergency and all this. Um, that is true, but uh, um, we didn't just pull two names out of a hat. Uh, they were based on strictly job performance. Um, and, you know, we. I could go into a list there, but uh, we're not going to have time. So we'll just say it was based on facts. And yes, we don't want to uh, cut somebody's career short. But uh, at this point, it was our responsibility to uh, to do something. And this is the what we did. Our third debate tonight was scheduled to be incumbent District 2A Republican State Rep Matt Grossel facing DFL or Jeremiah Lind, but that debate had to be canceled when Grossel informed us just prior to the, the, the debate that he could not participate due to a family emergency. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.